So the last video I went over type 1 sub summary sheet. So I'm going to go over type 2 in this video. And so type 2 is is probably one of the most specific types out of the five types. Um and it's for pavement markings and this is what district 4 had set up which I added to to make it work with the code. So um, I actually wrote this when I was in District 4, and so um, the goal here is is not for you guys to tell me you want all your specific sheet types added to this program. Um, you know, if it's more of a generic type, then then I, yeah, I, I can add it as another as an additional type to use. But I just wanted to you know mention that before getting into this so you guys might not find this video useful at all so I'm gonna open one that's already filled I already have it open that's already filled out but you'll see that it's you know very detailed so basically there it's a whole sheet it's sized to fit you know on a whole sheet or dot sheet cell border and there are four main sections. There's edge line section, a lane line section, a center line section, and then an auxiliary section. So you'll see some of the same things from type one, but you, you notice it's very different. And so um, this sheet actually has some code in it to change the item codes for a page. So you'll see a material type of 644. Now if I needed that to be say 646, you'll notice that this item code just changed to the edge line for um, you know 646 materials type. So this is probably the only sheet where the item code doesn't actually list the item's description. And so it's you have to be more cautious that you have the right item code here because that's what the code's going to pick up when it grabs all this data. And so similar as before, you know, page type 1, you know, the page numbers list, you just want to list the page number that this is going on. And I'll show again A1 says 2 for type 2 summary sheet. And then just as before, you have split numbers, and you know, each line, each row, you know, should only have quantities for that split that you list here. You know, you have to again be careful that you don't leave any of these blank or that quantity won't be associated to any splits so and which you'll see in the video in a, in a couple of videos with the project info video um, you'll see now there's a total 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 and total so there's four totals whereas type 1 only had one so what this is doing is it's it's finding, you know, the total for each section. So it knows that this is the total for that section. So you'd fill it out with your edge lines, your, your lane line, your center line, and you can insert rows as needed. You know, if, if you need more rows here and less rows here, you can do that with what you can't do is insert columns in type 2. Now type 1 you could insert rows and columns. It was very dynamic. This one cuz it's so specific can't have that that dynamic to it. So the last section is auxiliary. So it's a little different from the first three. Again, you have the split but now you have all these items going across the bottom for you know all these auxiliary items and so again you know this item number 
does not fill out this and you know, these aren't formulas so you need to be careful if you switch stuff that you switch the item number as well so you know this sheet is you know not not ideal for all the other like all the other ones are set up where this one's just easy more easy to mess up so um you notice that you can have multiple pages as long as there's that one blank line you know it can the code will know that it's a new sheet and, and you can fill out fill it out you'll notice that each sheet has this red box that says concrete uh, it's just checkbox um you know it it basically when you check it it switches your material type to 644 for you that's all it does when you uncheck it, it switches it to 644 so, um, you know, pretty simple. That's for the most part how this sheet is set up. Again, you know, this is District Four is what they had set up. It's very specific. You know, most of you guys probably already have something. This might be seem really confusing. I'm not saying you have to use it. I'm just it's one of the types because I was in District Four, so they're lucky that they get a specific type. But you know, that's. I can't make you know a hundred different types, so you know the code can't handle that. So I'll move in the next video. I'll go over type three.